In this video, I'm going to give you five pro tips for helping you get the most out of Salesforce's new AI coding agent, Agent Force Vibes. Tip number one, know the consumption model. Each org gets 50 premium requests or 1 million tokens, whichever is consumed first per day. Use them wisely. Just because you can use Agent Force Vibes to deploy your metadata or change a single line of code doesn't mean you should. Sometimes it's better to do things the old fashioned way using the Salesforce DX extension or command line. Save your requests for high value actions like using MPC servers, planning, and coding. Tip number two. Use Scratch Orgs. Scratch Orgs are source-driven, ephemeral development environments that you can spin up in seconds using the Salesforce BX extension. Every Scratch Org has its own quota of Agent Force 5's premium requests. So if you have five Scratch Orgs, you can use up to 250 premium requests per day between each of them. To learn more about using Scratch Orgs, check out our developer quick takes video on working with Salesforce Scratch Orgs using VS Code. Tip number three. Use the slash commands. The slash commands are powerful tools that can really supercharge your development workflow. Use new rule to create a system level prompt that aligns Agent Force's coding style, best practices, and engineering principles in every single task. Use new chat to summarize your current conversation's context and bring it into a new chat, including what you are doing, what you've accomplished, and how. This in particular is a great way to save context and requests. Use port bug to create a GitHub issue that you might be having with Agent Force Vibes. And finally, use the planning to prompt Agent Force Vibes to analyze your code base and create a comprehensive implementation plan for a new feature or refactor. Deep planning in particular is a great feature for improving output quality because it prompts Agent Force to create an implementation plan.md file with specific implementation details like types, objects, and more that it can reference in future tasks and conversations. Number four, use at mentions. Every time Asian Force Vibes reads a file, it consumes a request. If you know which context is required, use the at mentions to inject it into your prompt. When you include all the necessary context up front, Asian Force Vibes will immediately begin modifying and creating files instead of individually reading them first. This approach saves you requests and produces better outputs by providing all the necessary context up front. Also note that you can use mentions to pass the contents of the terminal to debug errors and issues when working with the command line. Number five, control which orgs can access Agent Force Vibes. You can disable Agent Force Vibes for production orgs right in setup under Agent Force Vibes extensions. Here you'll find a toggle to disable the extension for a specific org. The setting prevents users from using Agent Force Vibes whenever that org is set as their default in Salesforce DX. And there you have it. Five tips for getting more out of Agent Force Vibes. What are your tips? Let us know in the comments below. And for more Agent Force Dakota videos, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.